to this demonstration of the IIE online assessment platform. Now, before we get into it, uh, it's important to understand that the platform actually consists of two separate technologies. So using a classroom or a campus analogy, uh, you would have the exam hall in which you write, and then you'll have the invigilators that walks up and down the exam hall to ensure that the integrity of the assessment is protected. They record everything that has happened and those records are reviewed afterward to determine if any infringement of the exam rules occurred. So what you're seeing in front of you is the Duga online assessment platform. So that is like the exam hall. This is where you receive your paper, complete your paper, submit your paper. But before a paper can start, Again, to ensure the academic integrity, we need to call the Invigilator. Uh, the Invigilator app is an application that runs in the background on your machine. I'll show you in a minute how to use it. But you need to pre-install that application and calibrate it before the exam starts. So that's not something you can do on the day. On the day, you would literally log on to the Duga website, select the correct paper, and the Invigilator app will be activated as part of a process. Okay, so very important caveat there. Before you um, participate in a demonstration assessment or the actual exam is, um, on the day, you need to make sure that Invigilator app is installed on your machine um, and has been calibrated. Okay, right, so it's a day of the assessment. Uh, I've logged on to Duga. I've used my Microsoft credentials to log on to the platform, and that brings me to this page. Now, on the day, there might be multiple tiles. So you see those little tiles here that says demonstration assessment. There might be multiple of those tiles available to you, but only the one that is relevant to the time and the date of the current assessment will be um, available to you to access. So they will all be there for your entire exam, uh, but most of them will be graded, uh, graded out. Only the one that pertains to the time and date uh, that is relevant to you will be available. Now, I've got a couple of demonstration assessments there here, uh, just for today's purposes, but I'm going to click on the one that is relevant, and that brings me to this page. Okay, so we are in the exam hall. Before we can start, we need to go and call the invigilator, so I'm going to do that now. So there's launch in Invigilator app. So I'll click on that. It's going to ask me if it can open it, and I'm saying yes. Okay. Now, you might see that there's a flicker of a page that says enter code. You can ignore that. So one of the efficiencies we've built into the latest version of a platform is that you no longer need to enter a code in the Invigilator app. It's going to bring you to the screen, um, and you would simply then click start. Okay. Warning there. Do not leave your computer. Remember, this needs to run in the background for the duration of the assessment. I'm going to click OK there. All right. Now, now I need to frame my face. Very important that I do that correctly. So the machine monitors my movement, and therefore I need to frame myself correctly. So I frame my face and click on I'm ready. Okay, now the temptation is there to click finish assessment, but you should not. Very, very important. We will need the Invigilator app to run in the background. So I'm going to minimize, not close. It needs to record me while I'm busy with my assessment. I will, however, once I'm ready to start, click on start. And that takes me directly into the assessment. Okay, so let's quickly complete our assessment. Uh, question one. Uh, I have a tail and a head, but no body. What am I? I don't know. Snake. Uh, complete the sequence of numbers. Two, four, six, eight. Let's say ten. Uh, which of the following is the odd one out? Uh, let's see, banana, carrot, apple, tomato. Uh, I'm going to guess uh, tomato. Uh, consider the following emoji, uh, the use of emoji. Okay, let's just for demonstration purposes, just click through that. Obviously, and hopefully in your exam, you'll pay a bit more attention. So, uh, this is an ordering exercise. Um, I'm just completing these assessments very quickly, uh, just so that we can get to the end of the process. 
medical term for a diary a berry allergy uh, let's have it's fault and shoe scary but exciting okay so on the day you'll have multiple questions uh, some of them might be multiple choice correct uh, find the correct answer etc uh, or essay form long form assessments um, where you have long form responses so you would complete them all and then what is interesting to note is there's a, a navigation here on the side so even though your paper may be very long you can very quickly get back to a, a particular question simply by navigating the side pane yeah okay okay once i'm satisfied that all of my answers are uh, as completed to the best of my ability i would then click submit right at the bottom it's going to ask me if i'm ready to submit i do that as well and that is the end of the process okay now before we leave and go home while the assessment process is finished, we need to dismiss the invigilator. So there's going to be a prompt that comes up that says, can I open, as I've just demonstrated, the invigilator app? Yes, you may. And that's simply going to bring you to this page where you select, yes, I'm finished. Now, almost done. It has to take a couple of selfies down, depending on how long you've spent in the, uh, in the actual assessment. Um, that's going to uh, indicate to the system how much evidence or records they have. So the shorter period in there, the more selfies you need to take. Now, I've been in the system literally for a couple of seconds, so I'm suspecting I may need to take a whole bunch of selfies. So there's selfie one, selfie two, Selfie three, selfie four, let's hope that's the last one. And now it's gonna ask you to continue to upload. So only once you click this button, the entire assessment process is done and the data that has been recorded, so the images, the videos, the sound, all of those things will be uploaded to the Invigilator app for scrutiny and review after the assessment. Right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. Only once you return back to your dashboard do we know that the entire, entire end-to-end -end process is complete and you can step away from your machine. What's next? Please keep an eye out for invitations to a series of training and demonstration sessions. These sessions are designed to help you become familiar with the applications and platform used in invigilated online assessments. Attending these sessions will provide you with the necessary skills and confidence to navigate the platforms effectively, ensuring a smooth assessment experience. Your participation is highly recommended.